get out to Way 31's Breck and Terry. She's in an area of the Shoals where we know at least 50 homes, maybe even more, have been damaged. Breck, and what are you experiencing right now? Well, no, so I'm actually at McFarland Park in Florence, and on Saturday, floodwaters were up and over Highway 20, so much so they had to close down the highway. It's now back open, but as you can see, uh, the park is still blocked all the way up to the entrance. Now, earlier today, I spoke with an insurance agent uh, and asked him why many people in the Shoals don't have flood insurance. Do you have flood insurance? No. Zach Norris, who lives on Roosevelt Avenue, isn't the only one without flood insurance. You know, flood insurance is usually insurance that uh, nobody gets, nobody plans on. So many people we've spoken with in Nathan Estates don't have flood insurance either. How many flood insurance policies have you ever sold around here? Probably about ten. Insurance agent Tim Sherrill tells us in 1968, Congress passed the National Flood Insurance Act. Which created the National Flood Insurance Program. Because private insurance companies could not figure out the correct way to price flood, so Congress had to pass an act to get it to where it would cover. In the last week, some homeowners have told us because they don't live in a flood zone, their insurance provider never allowed them to purchase it. Cheryl tells us if you don't live in a flood zone, flood insurance could be reasonably priced. You're talking two to five hundred dollars a year. Um, and escrow can pay for it sometimes, depending on if the bank's requiring it or not. Now, if you are in a flood zone, yeah, you could be looking from about two to four thousand dollars on top of your normal homeowner's insurance. That's the thing; it's expensive, says Cheryl. That's why a lot of people don't have it. With a lot of flooding in the shoals and homeowners without flood insurance, Cheryl says people need to document how their insurance companies won't cover the costs. If you went through a situation like that, just always document everything. If it is a conversation with your agent, you can document it mm -hmm. um, and just make sure that you're getting all the information you possibly can. Now, Cheryl tells me since this flooding event in the Shoals, his phone has been ringing off the hook with people wanting flood insurance. Quotes, now you can report your damage uh, to Colbert and Lauderdale County emergency management officials. They are then going to send all of these damage reports off to the state in the hopes that the president will declare this a federal disaster so that way we can get some FEMA and federal funds into this area. Live in Florence, Breck and Terry, Way 31 News.